Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. So this one, I'm going to keep it pretty short. I'm not going to make it that long. But in this video, we're going to be talking about just some common mitigations that everyone should kind of know about that reduce performance. But basically, these are security mitigations. And what this means is these are mitigations it might be like a security flaw within your CPU or something like that. And the manufacturer of the CPU or Microsoft will release a hot fix to fix that as soon as possible for example inspector specter and meltdown this is a common thing that everybody should disable which will literally enhance reduce latency stuff like that but there is a newer one for intel and this is only for 6th gen intel all the way up until 11th gen so it's a wide amount of cpus but if you updated your windows or updated your bios recently you got this mitigation and you might be noticing less performance in gaming so i'm going to show you how to disable that but keep in mind this is a security mitigation that you're disabling and for whatever reason if you care about security then don't disable it but if you just care about strictly gaming you don't care about nothing else highly recommend to disable it and get that extra performance right out of your cpu that they're blocking just because of a security thing so the first one is just going to be disabling spectre and meltdown so just click download now right on this website it's gonna open up this it's gonna make that annoying noise just ignore that but if you could basically disable both of these just press disable but if you're on Ryzen it's gonna say meltdown is already protected ignore meltdown it's automatically enabled for Ryzen you can't really disable it but for Intel you could disable Spectre and meltdown and it should say no on Spectre and meltdown now the second thing is gonna be downfall and downfall there's just gonna be a registry command to disable this so I'm gonna show it here in a second so on this website it shows you how to manually set this to disable downfall and it also shows you the command right here so all we're going to do is just copy paste this command the reg add and then we're going to open up cmd make sure you run as cmd as administrator and you're gonna paste it in here and press enter. Now this is only for Intel. You don't really have to do this step. This is only for Intel sixth gen processors all the way up until 11th gen. So if you have anything newer or older or you're on Ryzen, you don't have to do this part, but inspector and meltdown, try to disable that. If you're on Ryzen, just disable inspector and that's pretty much it. You'll get extra performance unlocked out of your CPU and you might notice less drops and less stutters in game and just better smoothness in general, especially for this downfall mitigation, just cause this is downfall mitigation in some cases it makes you lose up to 50 percent performance and that's a huge amount that's pretty much going to be it for this video guys if you want a full pc optimization service where i go in depth disable mitigations disable stuff that's useless for gaming make you have smoother gameplay better fps on your current specs you'll be able to excel competitively and your pc will be a competitive gaming machine so if you want that link is in the description zilli.as.me book that whenever you are ready i offer three services now we're going to move on to another thing it's going to be my custom pc builds if you want a custom pc built for you all the high-end parts no cheaping out no bonky just pure parts for performance to get most possible fps and the least possible latency it's going to be pre-optimized it'll come to you pre-optimized with my os and it'll be stress tested completely and everything will be ready to go as soon as you get it all you got to do is install your games start gaming and you'll notice the crazy difference between that pc and your old pc so make sure to cop that order it now second link right under my scheduling website if you're tired of having the same old PC, order that and you should be getting a new PC in about two weeks time built by me, optimized by me and tested by me. But other than that, it's going to be it for this video, guys. If you want more stuff like this, comment down below. Comment down below if this helped you. Comment down below your concerns. But honestly, if you're a gamer, you should disable these. But that's going to be it for this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.